So now that we've made the uh, dough and it's risen, uh, now we take out maybe uh, a pound of dough. We'll make we'll make this a little less because the uh, it'll be too large. So dough's pliable doesn't stick but it's not stiff and that's the uh, texture of the dough is everything if, it, if it's too thick and uh, stiff it won't work so with a little flour down so the uh, dough will give and slide and for the style of fudacha that we do right you don't want it completely round you want it more Elongated. Yeah. Right? Okay. That's my mom in the background. She's an amazing backseat driver. So what we uh, then do once we've rolled out the dough, we put some pepper on the base. We use uh, paprika because cayenne, unless you want really picky uh, pizza, you want just some uh, taste paprika. Uh, then we'll put the tomato sauce on, and then comes uh, Italian seasonings on top, some salt. Still works. We'll put on the onions. We've got some uh, artichokes, and then the, the cheese, Parmesan cheese. So, Dad, you spread that out kind of evenly and very thin, correct? Correct. Yeah, we're trying to get it out to the uh, outer edge, and then uh, and the melons will go into the middle. And then at the very end, do you add some olive oil? Yeah. All okay. And approximately how much? Uh, probably... Uh, I mean, you just kind of sprinkle it all over, right? Yes, exactly. It's just the top the flavors. So here's Dad chopping up artichoke hearts. As you can see, the onions are on the fugacha bread. And then we're going to spread that out. Tomas, great job. Good game. I'll see you at my house, 6.15. salt and now we're going to put the Italian seasoning lots of seasoning can't overdo So this is super low fat and low carb. Yes, and then just a little Parmesan cheese. So let's do this, it's okay. roll time. Here we go. So kind of getting the roll going is the hardest part, kind of be a little delicate, kind of more of a flip over and then you just kind of keep going. And if you have time, you can leave the focaccia on the tray and it'll rise some more, which is always a good idea. You're not rushing stuff. Part, this is the tricky part. Okay. So 
So you can let it just sit out for 15 minutes or so, let it rise some more. And then at 350, about a half an hour. All right, we are going to do a pesto version. And uh, the fun part is we've been talking about doing videos for years and we always forget. So today's a big day for us. And uh, so we're excited to share this with the family. So I'm just going to roll and uh, start doing my thing and we'll tune back in here in a second. It's going to be a big one. So with the pesto, we put a little extra virgin olive oil down first and we're gonna do finger painting. So it'll be fun to do with all the kids. And uh, I'm embarrassed, but we went to Costco to get all the ingredients and flour and we are, obviously we didn't make that the pesto for the scratch. So you know, press for time. So we had, to, we, had to, we had to cut a couple corners. More finger painting. I'm probably going to put more on. All right, so we have put the pesto, put artichoke hearts, we've got the onions, and you're asking how much? I don't know, it's a couple handfuls. <laughs> That's what we're videoing, so you can see kind of how it looks. So, and now we're gonna do the cheese, and then the seasoning. Paprika, pepper, Italian seasoning, and salt. And because it's the pesto, We're going to put more cheese than we typically would. And then the salt, a little paprika, a little pepper. And a little olive oil, just a scooch. More. And this is the part that's tricky. Pressure's on the video camera to make me nervous. Bam. Nice job. Thanks, Dad. All right, so the pesto one is out of the oven. We've let it cool, and that's what it looks like. And uh, I have done a taste test, and it is delicious, magically delicious.